What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI, another Dell Optiplex 740. This is the mini tower. Upgrading today the memory, video card, and the processor. So for do that, we're gonna remove the side cover panel here. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and uh, Remove the processor, so what you need is a latex glove, get a Phillips screwdriver, and remove the heatsink first. And there'll be one screw right here in the left, one in the right. So remove the heatsink. Now, what you guys need is, uh, let me get some, uh, and we're going to try to remove the heat sink, and then what we have to do is uh, remove the processor here, and show you guys, okay, remove the processor, there's going to be a little pin right here, you press uh, with your finger really gently, lift it up, to remove the, Zoom in the camera to remove the processor. So here's the old processor. Now we're going to install the newer one. I'm upgrading to dual core. And the way you're going to install it is the corner right there. You see that right here, the gold? The corner right there, it's going to be all the way in the top right side, like this. That's how you're going to install it. See the corner right there? That's how you're going to install it to the right, right there, right side, top right corner right there. Okay, so we're going to install it. Install the processor. Let me zoom out the camera. Now, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the thermal compound here on the heat sink right there and have to be wiped to have to take it off and so we're gonna take off the thermal compound here and if your thermal compound doesn't come off then what you have to do is just a 50% rubbing alcohol Perfectly. Now, let me remove this. Make sure you put like some kind of paper here, like a piece of paper or like a clear bag, so you don't want to turn my compound going to the fly into the motherboard. You just put them over here and just throw it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply the thermal compound. And to do that, I'm just not gonna. I'm just gonna apply it to to the heatsink, not to the processor. That'll be faster that way. Remove the old processor, and you guys can just upgrade to a dual core. Probably on the machine, this one is uh, supports up to AMD uh, Phantom quad core, but a dual core with higher clock speed would be better. Probably all the games will work perfectly fine. So we're gonna go ahead and apply a thermal compound. And and just apply. You can use a credit card or to spread it. Just spread it evenly. Or if you don't want to spread it, then you should do is just apply it to the middle, and when you install the processor, the heat sink, it will spread evenly. So if you can do that way, whatever works.
works for you. So now we apply thermo compound. Now we're gonna go ahead and install it back. So we just upgraded the processor. Try to zoom out the camera, you guys can see better. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and start off the memory. It's got four gigs in here. DDR2800, 90cc on buffer memory. I'm gonna put two more sticks in here. It'll support up to eight gigs total. And uh, it's a DDR2800, 90cc on buffer memory. And so I'm gonna install two more sticks. It would be total eight gigs. You hear two clicks, that means memory installed. And two more. One more. You're gonna hear two clicks when the memory installed properly. So we installed memory. So it's got eight gigs total. You guys can see better. So it's got a total of four sticks, a DDR2 800 90cc on buffer memory. I would go with the Kingston Crucial. Kingston Crucial or Carsair, those are the top three brands I like. Good memory. And so install the memory, 8 gigs total. Now we're going to go ahead and upgrade the, the hard drive. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the SATA cable right here that's connected to the hard drive. So you can disconnect this in the power cable. And you're gonna press on right here with your finger to release the plastic caddy from the hard drive. So here's the hard drive, and I'm I'm upgrading to it's a half terabyte hard drive in here. And remove the older one and just upgrade. This plastic caddy comes off really easy, it bends really easy to install just like that. And install it back. Connect back the SATIC cable and power. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, upgrade video card to be the last part. And first off, you guys need is uh, remove the PCI bracket right here. See? And a little clip right here. You press with your finger right there. You press with your finger really gently to release it. And remove the PCI bracket. It's going to be right there in the top one where the video card is at. Like this. So what you're going to do is remove it because we're going to install the video card through PCI Express X16 slot right here, the black one. That's where we're going to install the video card. So you guys can use uh, either AMD Radeon HD video card. This is a low profile, low power consumption video card. I'm probably going to go with the... Uh, GeForce GT 730. This is a low profile power consumption video card. Low, it's got a both DVI connection, HDMI, and VGA port. So this one's got only DVI and a display port. But they're both low power consumption video cards. So the power supply in here is a 305 watt. So I'm not going to upgrade. It's a really good power supply. 305 watt would be perfectly fine. I don't have to upgrade. So I'm just going to go ahead and install the GeForce GT 730 video card. It's a low profile. And install the video card. Okay, we installed the video card. So, guys, uh, we upgraded the video card, the memory, processor. And the hard drive. This is for the Dell Optiplex 740. And uh, we're going to close. So what you guys need to do is uh, connect the monitor directly to the video card. And go to, uh, when you turn on a computer, go to NVIDIA.com website and get the drivers for it. It just, just depends what kind of operating system you have. So you're going to go to NVIDIA.com website if you got the video card. 
and uh, just install the drivers for it. Either you have 32, 64 by operating system, install the driver, start the computer, and you'll be good to go. So we're gonna close the side cover panel. And we're done. Thanks for watching. Bye.